What's up guys, welcome back to Neighbor Games. I'm your host, Neighbor. Today, we're gonna take a trip down an awesome road featuring a bunch of awesome creators in the Pokemon community, talking about their experiences with Pokemon and how it's benefited their lives and what they love most of all about Pokemon. But before we get into that, it wouldn't be a Neighbor Games video without an opening. And since I'm taking a trip down memory lane, I thought it was best to finally crack into this Evolutions pack I've been holding on to for a couple weeks now. Um, I wasn't able to get vintage packs because they're astronomical in price right now. One day we will have that. One day I want to take and open vintage cards with you guys. But for now, we'll take this Evolutions pack, which is also very sought after apparently. Um, hopefully get something really good, and it is just fitting that Raichu is the card pack art. So, <laughs> anyway, we're gonna open up into this, we're gonna feature some awesome content creators, and yeah, talk a little bit about Pokemon. And so I wanna know in the comments below, guys, what do you love about Pokemon? What has Pokemon done for you? Leave that in the comments below. Uh, I believe it's three. I haven't done anything X, Y, or earlier in a long time. So we're going to go, um, yeah, we'll go this side. All right, so we have a double colorless energy. We have a super potion. Charmeleon, that's what's up. I like that. <laughs> a Ponyta. Tingela. A Weedle. Sandshrew. Ghastly. Reverse Hollow is a max revive? No, it's just a revive. <laughs> and... Eradicate. Can't, can't win them all. And that's absolutely fine. So, without any further ado, please check out these content creators and please follow them on all social medias. I'll link them in the description below as well as in the video. Check them out. They're amazing people that also love Pokemon as much as I do. Hey, this is Mike, and uh, my positive experiences with Pokemon have been just mainly when I've been connecting with the people I've made strong connections with in this community, and I've created bonds that exceed this, and I will hold on to for the rest of my life. Thank you, Pokemon. Hello, everyone. My name is Elvis. I go by the Hyperion Online, and I've been playing Pokemon ever since I can remember. My very first Pokemon game was Pokemon Fire Red for the Game Boy Advance. I've been playing Pokemon ever since, and I remember loving this, not just the games, but the whole series as a whole, watching the anime, collecting toys, even the trading card game. Pokemon has always been a part of my life, even now. We're at Generation 8, and I still love Pokemon. And without Pokemon, honestly, I don't know where my life would be, because Pokemon has always been a constant in my life. It's always been something that made me happy, excited, and just like reminds me of the good old days of back in my childhood. And honestly, that's probably one of the reasons why my favorite Pokemon is Totodile. Because Totodile in the anime was always so happy, carefree, energetic. And that just has stuck around with me ever since then. So for all of that, for all the wonderful memories, for the community that I have built recently through Twitch and YouTube, Nintendo, Game Freak, the Pokemon Company, anyone out there, thank you so much for making this amazing series and these amazing games. Hi guys. So my earliest memory of Pokemon is Christmas morning, getting Pokemon Yellow and a little Pokemon Game Boy Color they had Pikachu and Togepi on the Game Boy, and that was just a very memorable Christmas. And ever since then, Pokemon's been in my life pretty much daily. I just really love this series. I'm really happy that I've been able to grow with it and that it's still around and that we still get to adventure and journey and catch all the Pokemon. And I'm just very happy it's been in my life. I have obviously still been collecting uh, to this day. And I owe a lot of my collector side of myself to Pokemon. Um, I think that's where <laughs> that part of my personality kind of flourished. And um, I've had this guy um, since I was like eight. So um, that's been very special to me. I just think that it's just a great series that any age can enjoy. And to this day, we can still all enjoy it together and hand it down to the next generation of kids 
and I'll love it and be excited for it. And I'm just really excited that I still get to love and do content for Pokemon and get to still have that same joy I had when I was like seven, eight years old. And I think that's just really special to have in the series um, to be able to grow with it. So thank you, Pokemon, for always being there for me and for giving us lots of amazing adventures. So thank you. I love you guys. Hey guys, my name is Nick, aka Shiny Human TTV, and Neighbor Games has asked me to tell all of you guys why I'm super thankful for Pokemon. Pokemon was just always a game that I loved. It was one of the first video games I ever owned. When I think of video games, it's the first one that I can think of. It's always been something that's been a constant in my life. It's always been something that I've really enjoyed. And it's always been something that, you know, has just kind of been there for me. You know what I mean? Uh, during rainy days, being sick, uh, during boring family things. It's just been something that I've always done. Uh, I'm actually playing it right now. <laughs> but I've always been thankful for Pokemon for also giving me the opportunity to be a part of a community that has been really supportive and awesome, and I really appreciate it. Thanks to Neighbor Games for making this awesome contemplation with a bunch of different content creators, and I hope to catch you guys later. Thank you, Pokemon, for introducing me to others while I'm shy, to the new friends, to the content, and to the memes. Can't wait for more years to come. I, PSA? I still want a snow run plushie. Come on, Pikachu, this is all on you, man. You need to go hit that mon with a freaking thunderbolt or something. You gotta break out of the confusion, get a crit. Come on, come on, come on. And you just, you really just hit yourself in confusion. What's going on, everybody? My name is Tony Daddy. You, you probably have heard of me or seen this face before on other platforms, but I do run a Pokemon channel over here on youtube.com slash Tony Daddy. And I do some cool stuff over on Twitch as well. And I'm very, very excited to be part of this little collaboration video. Just thanking Pokemon. Just being part of it is great. And I can't wait to talk about it. Pokemon has been one of, I believe, the biggest influences of my whole life. I remember getting home from school, and just first thing, I said, forget the homework. We're just turning on the TV and watching Pokemon. And at the time, man, uh, I remember watching the original series. Um, and at the same time, playing my video game of Pokemon on my old Game Boy Color. I actually do uh, have something really cool I want to show off for this little video, man, because I feel like that it's been such a huge part of my life with this franchise. I, I, I had to show it off. I whipped it out of the case. And right here, you guys actually see my first Pokemon game. The camera's not doing it any justice, but it has no scratches and, and it still has all my old files from when I was a kid, man. And I, and I keep this protected uh, simply because, not because of the fact that it's old, but the fact that like this game, I spent hours upon hours. I beat the whole game and I still played it. Like, I, I don't know why, but <laughs> I I um I just really, really like this game in particular, man. And it's just, it, it's a great memory. I guess I really started making Pokemon content over here back in 2013 because I've seen over the years as I want to say a veteran PokeTuber, see how many people have come into this community and uh, seen how people have grown, seen how people have left and done other stuff. And just in general, just seen how this community has come together for little projects like this. And I feel like that with more people coming into the community, it just, it really, um, it shows that a lot of people still care about this franchise and especially with every new game that comes out every year, it, uh, it's great. It's fantastic. And I really do, uh, hope that more stuff comes out of it in the future, man. And hopefully, you know, we become even better fans of the franchise. And so I want to personally say thank you, Pokemon for, for being, um, a huge part of my life and hope that we have many more years to come. Hello everyone, I am Salamonster, you may know me as Soy, and first of all, big thanks to Neighbor for inviting me to be a part of this. I started playing Pokemon when I was probably about six years old. My favorite thing to do back then was just to use it while traveling, my Game Boy, and we would take three or four hour drives to my parents' hometown. And ever since Pokemon has been there for me, all of the time, every single generation, most of the spin-offs, and the thing that I'm most thankful for is that it's always given me a way to have fun 
with it uh thanks to the games the community there's always something to do shiny hunting draft leagues just playing through the story challenges uh, so i do want to thank pokemon for always being there um uh, and for giving me so many good memories doing so many different things and i know that it's going to be that way for as long as the series is alive Thank you, Pokemon. What's going on, my fried shrimp? It's your boy Austin here, better known as Gobble on the World Wide Web. And honestly, Pokemon has been such a major part of my life. I've been into Pokemon ever since I was like four years old. I remember getting Pokemon Sapphire and playing it absolutely just nonstop. And even growing up as the new games came out, I would always have my Game Boy or my DS or whatever it may be. I would always have it with me and I would, uh, you can almost guarantee it always be a Pokemon game inserted. Ever since I got my first game, I've been so immersed within the community, uh, whether it be watching people play it, trading Pokemon, Pokemon cards with my friends, shiny hunting, whatever it is. If it's Pokemon related, you can probably guarantee that I have spent some time with it. Uh, I started making Pokemon content around the time I was like 12 years old. I'm 22 now, so it's been a while. And I've met so many great people throughout it. I've made so many friends throughout just just but from pokemon it's been so amazing that way i just honestly would not be the same person i am today if pokemon never existed so so thank you very much pokemon i appreciate everything thank you hope you guys have enjoyed a glimpse at some awesome fellow creators that are as passionate about the pokemon community as i am uh, i wanted to spend this holiday season talking about what the pokemon company means to me um the Pokemon Company, Pokemon in general, has always been a huge part of my life. Since I was eight or nine years old, I started out at, actually at school getting a couple of uh, trading cards. I think one of the first trading cards that Agver actually got was a Kabuto uh, from one of the first few sets. And I just remember having that, and I ended up trading that later on for a Hollow Raichu. Raichu was making a big statement in my life from the beginning Raichu being my favorite pokemon of course but that evolved further on as i grew older i grew more interested in more than just the card game i wanted to know more about pokemon i was watching the anime uh, and my mother bought me pokemon yellow however she did not buy me a game boy or a game boy color just a pokemon yellow and me being the kid that i am i did the best I could, uh, put a smile on my face, say, thank you, mom. Uh, we didn't have much growing up. I made a bargain with a friend of mine at school to borrow their Game Boy whenever I was at school and actually played on breaks, on recess, until I could beat the game. I did borrow their Game Boy for an extended period of time as well. And I don't know exactly what happened, but my mom caught one that I did not have a Game Boy and that the actual Pokemon Yellow did not function without said Game Boy. So that following Christmas, I received a Game Boy Color, Pokemon Silver, and Pokemon Gold. After which, every bit of allowance, every bit of money that I made from birthdays or anything like that, I saved it up. I bought everything. I had blue, red, yellow. Gold, silver, I was there when Crystal got released. I remember getting it very, very soon after it was released. I was like, Mom, I have to have that. Pokemon has been a big part of my life. That's an understatement. It's helped me through hard times, me being bullied, me being cast aside, and some very, very dark and alone times. I have always had Pokemon to fall back onto. And now I'm entering a new stage in my life. I have content creation. I have a son of my own. And I enjoy very much talking about every shiny Pokemon I get, every awesome card that I pull with my little baby games. And I look forward to someday being able to sit with him, play these games, talk about Pokemon, talk about why Charizard's not the best Pokemon in the world, but he will probably love it anyway. <laughs> but to eventually see and experience that through a new set of eyes is going to be amazing. I owe a lot of what I am to the Pokemon content, the, the games, the cards. It shaped me to strive to be the very best that I could be, which is what I want for us as a community, to be the very best that we can be. And that's what we're going to strive to do. So, this holiday, I say thank you, Pokemon, for everything that you've done for me and everything you've done for the millions of people across the world. And I want you guys to hold your family dear, 
and be the very best that you can be this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Catch you on the flip side.